love, love is all you need. Today is such a beautiful spring day. All I want to do is bathe in the sun. Me too, but remember, we have to get in shape for the show. What? Yeah. What do you mean, get in shape for the show? We have to start working out, Crystal. For what? To look mighty fine on camera. There's no need for getting in shape. Come on, Crystal. We need to get motivated. Ah! Hey guys, I'm Crystal. And I'm Lizette. And this is Ed Hughes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Have you heard the news, Crystal? What news? Exactly. Let's go to Ed Hughes News. Hey guys, this is Ed Youth News. Coming to school is pretty motivating. Let's get to it. Hey guys, Sadie's pictures are in. So pick up your pictures in the finance office before school, at lunch, or after school. As a reminder, for any AP students who will be AP testing, your transportation form is due April 22nd. Please return your form to the student services as soon as possible. The PTSA Reflections Award Ceremony will take place April 14th in the Career Center at 12.30 p.m. Lunch will be provided. Sports physicals will be provided on May 17th for students grades 9 through 11 for next year's sports. Physicals are mandatory for athletes. Hey minors, girls golf is looking for more players. So if you're a girl and you like golf, and stop by Mr. Abbott's class in room 366 during homeroom for more information. Hey Miners, that's it for Ed Hughes News, and I hope you stay motivated. Hey, it's just about that time for sports. Yeah, you're right. We just want to take the time to acknowledge all you sports people out there. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. And because of that, we have this guy for you. We dedicate this award to all you sports peeps out there. Win or lose, you make us proud to be minors. Thank you for your persistence and your dedication. Good morning, Elderly Monster, welcome back to sports. So, we decided to get out of the studio because that place sucks. Yeah. What, what is, yeah, what is this? I just found this. What is that? Oh, 
Let's go check out the highlights. Look at the swing on this. Good swing there. The golf team hit the balls over like a gust and took second last. Mark Thurman with the 74, Greg Corrin with the 83, Jonathan Daniels with the 84, Jerry Hernandez with the 87, Seth Bosman with the 88, and Jacob Davidson with the 94. Two baseball where last week they went 0 and 2 versus Mount Whitney, but this week they play Hanford. They play home this Thursday at 4:15. Make sure you go support. You know, Brennan, I heard they call Coach Ramos the banana. Last Thursday, the girls' softball team took on Redwood, beat them to score four to one. Tomorrow, they play Hanford West away at 4:30. So make sure you go and catch it. All right, Myers, we'll catch you next time. Maybe next time we'll be at the pool or the track or some other place. So see you later. Hey, we should go to the toilet. What? We should go to the toilet. What was that? We should go to the toilet. Can you replay that? Oh, speaking of replay it, let's check out Replay It. Hello, Miners. Welcome back to Replay the Moment, the weekly photo competition put on by yearbook. Congratulations, Michaela Gonzalez. You're the winner for the spring break, break theme. Be sure to stop by Mr. Jiraki in room 603 to claim your prize. Here are your four options for the last eight weeks of school theme. Option one, option two, option three, and option four. Once again, option one, option two, option three, and option four. Be sure to download the Replay It app and like the photo you want to win. This week's theme is superheroes. This is the summer for superhero movies. Batman vs Superman just came out and Civil War is coming out. So show us your favorite superhero pose or your favorite superhero. Be sure to have those photos uploaded by fifth period next Monday. That's it for this week, Miners. See you next week. Oh, dude, I was sitting on a Lego. Dude, did you know the Lego movie took four years to make? Dude, and Sleeping Beauty took eight. But. Avatar actually took 10 years to make. If that's not persistence, I don't know what is. Man, that's intense. We should go to entertainment and check out what they have for us. Hello, miners, and welcome back to entertainment. We understand around this time you start to feel real unmotivated and tired. Well, let's help you move forward with this week's movie, The Jungle Book. Roll the clip. If you can't learn to run with the pack one of these days, you'll be someone's dinner. The Jungle Book is a live action retelling of the classic Disney film. It tells the story of Mowgli, a child who gets raised by wolves in the jungle. However, once Shere Khan, a tiger who hates humans, finds out about him, he must escape back to his village with the help of Bagheer the Panther and Baloo the Bear. The Jungle Book stars newcomer Neil Sethi, Idris Elba, Bill Murray. It comes out this Friday. Come on, Mowgli, let's be on our way. But I'm helping Baloo get ready for hibernation. Bears don't hibernate in a jungle. Not full hibernation, but I nap a lot. It takes a lot of guts to move on from a place you've always known to a place you've never been. Yeah, it really does. It's like quitting your old job to start a new business from scratch. That is so true. Well, let's move on to the next clip. Call Saul talks about Saul Goodman's law firm. The first season is on Netflix, and the second season just ended. Now let's move on to our next TV show, Friday Night Lights. Let's check it out. Texas forever. Texas forever. And I promise you, you can look and think differently about yourselves. Well, that's all we have for this week, Miners. Join us next week when we cover The Huntsman. Man, senioritis is a pain in the butt. Well, it sounds like you need some encouraging words. I really do. Well, I so happen to know some people who could help you with just that. It is after school, class is over for today, and a girl walks to her car with her backpack on. 
the girl gets in her car, puts the backpack on the passenger seat, and is about to put the keys into the ignition. But she stops abruptly. There is something wrong. You can tell by the look on her face. She gets her bag and looks for a calendar. As she opens it, she remembers all that she has to do. She has to study for her math test that is tomorrow. She works every day this week, cannot find a dress for prom, and she is running out of options. She is in need of sleep because she is only getting four hours a night, has to finish submitting her scholarship apps because they're due next week, and she has yet to hear from her dream college. She is stressing out and cannot handle all of this at once. She is trying hard not to cry, but she is fighting it. Then, her alarm goes off. She does what she can to pull herself together. She sees that she is strong and has to keep going. She can do it, and so can you. Well, it's just about that inspirational time of the inspirational part of the show. Okay, me first, me first. Go for it. What does perseverance mean to you? That's a good one. Let's check out what it means to some other students. My definition of perseverance is having the drive to move forward even through difficult times. So even if you reach um, a point where you feel like like it's too hard to go on or you reach a bump in the road, you can still have the motivation and the drive to keep going and to keep feeling like that goal is still possible and that you still can achieve it even if it's really hard. How perseverance has helped shape my life is when my responsibilities pile up, instead of running away from everything, I just face the challenge and complete them knowing that the outcome will outweigh all the time I've spent stressing over. My definition of perseverance is to never give up and to keep trying even when it gets difficult. I feel like I'm doing really bad and like, um, you know, my grades aren't what I want them to be, then I just remember like, it's, it's like, it's the goal and it's what I need to do to, you know, I just need to keep working because if I just stop working, then I'm not going to be happy with my goal either way. So, or with my result either way. And if I work hard, at least I know that I tried and that I, I came closer than I would have to the goal even if I didn't do it. So that's what perseverance is to me. My definition of perseverance is striving through a difficult situation without straying away from your overall goal. Even when times get really tough, you still gotta keep fighting. Um, my definition of perseverance is working hard and working hard until you achieve what you wanna achieve. For example, I use perseverance all the time, almost every week. Um, being involved in a lot of things, it gets very stressful, so I tend to break down a lot, but I use that as my like little pickup and, you know, next week's gonna be better, the next day's gonna be better. The way I use perseverance on a daily basis, I use it a lot for swim, for if I lose an event, I just keep swimming and swimming until I can win the next one, try my best and never give up. Hey, words on the street that there's a new personal motivator in town. Man, I really need one. Like, for working out? Nah, for AP Lit. Actually, all of first period does. Mrs. Jolly should really hit him up. Let's go check it out. Has this ever happened to you? Good golly, I wish I had the motivation to run on my treadmill. I really, really wish I had the motivation. Who are you? I'm your personal motivator. Have you ever needed motivation in your life? Well, guess what? I'm your guy. I'll be your personal motivator. Not everyone is gifted with natural motivation, which is why you need the personal motivator. They'll give you the motivation that you deserve. Results are instant. Now that's motivation. Not only will they help you with everyday tasks, they can improve your health and more. 
I hope this has motivated you to purchase me as your personal motivator. Just do it! Just do it! Call 555-GET-SWOLE or visit our website. You know, I've always wanted to work at McDonald's, but everyone's always shot me down. But I'm gonna pursue my dream, and I'm gonna become a manager. That is so inspirational. Let's go get inspired. Let's go. Did you know that Advanced Film prepared a little something for us today? Nice, yeah, for the Slick Rock Film Festival. Yeah, let's go check it out. Good morning, everyone. This is 720 Minor Sports Talk Radio. The main subject today is our basketball team. They missed the league title by that much last year. The Hanford High Bullpups have won the WRL title. What a devastating blow for the Miners. How will they recover from this one? <laughs> Excellence is the result of always striving to do better. Winning is not a sometime thing, men. Winning is a habit. Life is about windows of opportunity. This window in your life will eventually close, men. A basketball team is like five fingers on your hand. If you get them all together, you have a fist. That's how I want you to play. It's not about how many times you fall, but how many times are you willing to get back up? Man, this is a magical game. It can make grown men cry and transform grown men into children again. Are you willing to get back up? What's wrong, Lizette? I don't think I could do this. 
You can do this. I believe in you. You can do this, Lizette. I can do this. Yes, you can. I can do this. Yes, you can. That's it for Ad Hughes today. We'll see you next week.